So, a friend of mine asked if I could make a Pokeball Nintendo Switch game case holder. Oh, let's get on it. The first model I printed was from MyMiniFactory.com, uploaded four years ago by, well, I can't really swear on this channel, so I'll just have to say kick A 3D prints. You can see the link in the description. This Pokeball is designed to recycle internal mechanics from a retail Pokeball toy, so it relies on specific springs and hardware. Other makers on my mini factory have shown how to make this hardware out of paper clips, but I got a little frustrated and didn't like the results. Also, the hinges are pretty small and actually broke on this model. I dropped it right before shooting this video. I have this Thwomp cart holder uploaded by Handy Dan's 3D Prints. It's really cool looking, but keep it out of reach of children or you'll lose all your Switch games. I decided to start over with this Pokeball uploaded to Thingiverse.com by SamK3YS. I also used parts that were remixed for this model by Farn. because of the angle of the overhang here, it had to print these supports so that that won't, or so that this part has something to print on and won't sag down. Let's take this off. It's nicely. Oh man, I kind of thought I'd have to glue it. It kind of snaps right in there. I mean, I'll still glue it. I'll still use some super glue. The button uses a small spring inside. None of the springs I had were small enough for it. The designer did say he used a spring from inside a pen. I can't sacrifice any of my zebras. I did find some old bank pens though. The remixed version has smaller holes for the hinge, so you can use a paper clip instead of a piece of filament, which I thought would be a little more reliable. All right, now that I've printed it and got it together, I see a lot of things I could do differently while printing to make it come out better. Everything was printed with a 0.2 millimeter layer height with a 0.4 millimeter hot end nozzle going 50 millimeters per second. Except the outer shells, the white and red, were printed with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, which for the sake of the Nintendo logo on the top, I probably should have went with 0.4. Now it could look a lot better, but it's functional. I'll probably end up making a better one in the future. Now let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And also if there's a model you'd like to see printed, be sure to let me know. And be sure to subscribe to 3D Vibes to see future printing projects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.